Today, as we all know, is a major milestone in America's history. It marks the one-year anniversary of the day Sausage Party came out on DVD. <laughs> yeah. And we all remember where we were. <laughs> I was doing a live show about America electing a hamburger for president. <laughs> and since that moment, Democrats have been searching for a glimmer of hope, some reason to be optimistic about the future. And last night, they finally got it. Democrats sweeping key races. Voters giving Democrats their first major victories of the Trump era. Democrat Ralph Northam beating sure. former RNC uh, chair uh, Ed Gillespie uh, in a contentious race for Virginia governor. In New Jersey, Democrat Phil Murphy easily defeating the state's Republican Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano. In Maine, voters approve an expansion of the state's Medicaid program under Obamacare. This a major setback for Republican Governor Paul LePage. Virginia Democrats took uh, 10 delegate seats. Uh, they've got a shot at winning control of the House of Delegates now. Damn, what a night for Democrats. Or as a wise man once said, so much winning. <laughs> so much. Yeah, how do you like that, Republicans? You may control the presidency, Congress, and the Supreme Court. But the Democrats got the Virginia House of Delegates, maybe. Yeah, maybe. And look, and look, it may be a small victory, but the Democrats who won were real happy. And I mean, like, real happy. Democrat Bill Murphy with a dramatic entrance on stage to give his acceptance speech. You know, considering we didn't hear... <laughs> considering we didn't hear a rip and then see balls, I would say that went well. <laughs> that went pretty well. But this was an important night for Democrats, because even though these were just state and local races, <laughs> they made gains all over the map in red and blue states. Uh, this could be a signal uh, that a Democratic wave is going to happen, you know? And if it continues, it could even flip control of Congress in 2018, which is very exciting. In fact, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi were so excited that they were up all night doing keg stands. And that is <laughs> how they do keg stands. They're very boring people, very, <laughs> very boring people. The night's marquee race was in Virginia, where Democrat Ralph Northam defeated Republican Ed Gillespie for governor. And uh, President Trump was not taking it well. Traveling in South Korea, the president who endorsed Gillespie but did not campaign for him, offering this criticism of the campaign overnight, tweeting, Ed Gillespie worked hard but did not embrace me or what I stand for. God damn. <laughs> Trump does not play games with how fast he will abandon you. Like, he just quit the guy out of nowhere. I bet you one day when the U.S. economy crashes, Trump's gonna be like, what a loser economy. <laughs> I've never even heard of America. <laughs> I'm from Sweden. Guten Tag. <laughs> and as much as Trump wants people to believe Gillespie lost because he didn't embrace, embrace uh, Trump's worldview, the truth is, Gillespie did everything but grab someone by the pussy. <laughs> just look, just look at some Gillespie campaign ads. Ralph Northam wants to take down Virginia's Civil War monuments. Ed Gillespie will preserve them. I'm for keeping them up, and he's for taking them down. Ralph Northam voted in favor of sanctuary cities that let dangerous illegal immigrants back on the street, increasing the threat of MS-13. I'm elected Virginia's governor. I'll fight to make it legal for adult individuals to be free to purchase fireworks like this. And we can celebrate Independence Day in true American fashion. I mean, you laugh, but that was his most successful run this year. <laughs> oh! 